Hey guys, it is me again, as you can tell. Let's see what today is. Today is Sunday. You find me a magic marker here. Okay, I don't know what I've done with my magic marker, guys. I lost it. Not a pin. Uh, today is Sunday, March twentieth. Makes it day seventy nine. I wonder if projects are anymore. I think today's the first day of spring. Am I right about that? I think I am. Uh, I think tonight may be like at 7 o'clock. 7 something is actually technically the spring because that's the when the sun is 90 degrees to the equator or 90. I don't know what exactly they go by. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's good to be here tonight. Uh, I'm glad you all are here. As always, uh, you guys, you know, you're, you're, you guys are what make me do this. You know, you're, you, you make this worth doing and make it possible, you know, um, cause you know, you know, there's no, there's no purpose in doing these things if people, if people are not going to watch it and that kind of deal. So, uh, you know, you guys that watch every night, I mean, I hope to get new people to watch. Hopefully somebody will watch something I've read sometime and, and be moved by it, plant a seed maybe in them and, and end up getting them saved or whatever. But, or, you know, just, you know, we don't know that. But, you know, you guys that, that watch every day or almost every day and you comment, and you guys I can count on, I mean, you're the guys that let me know that, <clears throat> you know, that, that it is worth doing. So I do appreciate you all. I just got done eating some almonds. If you see me doing this right here, trying to get almonds out from between my teeth. But uh, yeah, it's good to be here. I hope you guys are having a good day. Had a per, had a decent day today. Uh, uh, had a pretty good day at church. Had a. Uh, some people that hadn't been to church in a while were there and had a few new people and uh, not a big crowd but not a um, you know real slim crowd either you know had a decent little crowd and had a good day had to had some great music uh, um, I preached a message that I that I know the Lord was giving to me he, he, he pounded it into me all week this week now it was on pride actually I preached on pride how sinful pride can be, or how sinful the wrong kind of pride is, but uh, I had a good time, really did. Uh, got aggravated again today, though, with the phone calls. Uh, I don't know uh, what gets me. These poor old fellers, some of them that try to call me and call me and call me, and you know then. I'll finally run into them, you know, three or four days later or whatever, and I'll say, boy, you're the hardest person to get up with. <sighs> and you feel like just slapping them and saying, can't you take the hint? You know, I'm not really that hard to get up with. Or, you know, uh, we just don't like being bothered at home. Uh, you know, we take the phone off. But, uh, so we've had a decent day. Like I said, we... The phone started ringing, just, and that's what always gets me. As soon as I get home from church or, or whatever, as soon as I got done eating, I believe we were done eating. I don't even have been done eating. I think we did get done eating, though. As soon as we got done eating, bam, here it started. Uh, usually it starts ringing while you're still trying to eat. So, But Mom said, I'm taking that phone off. She said, we're not being aggravated like this today. She didn't feel good. Her head was hurting. She was wanting to rest. We were all wanting to rest, you know, Sunday's our day of rest, I, you know, and I like to rest, I don't like to be bothered, you know, if it's a friend, wanting just wanting to talk or whatever, I don't mind that, because that's not strenuous, but most of the people that call me, that's not what it is, it's people wanting to know questions about cars, or wanting to borrow tools, or wanting to know if they can get their car in this week, or their bike in, and I'm like, you know, okay, this could have waited till Monday. All this stuff could have waited till Monday. I don't know why they think they have to bother you at home on the weekend. But anyway, I'm just kind of venting there. But had a decent day, like I said. Uh, shot my Kimber. 
Yeah, I have today. I shot my Kimber again. Uh, guys, if you guys remember back during the ammo crunch, I think in '09, you know, right after Obama got elected, um, there was a new company came on the scene, you know, because you you couldn't get ammo, and there were several actually. Excuse me. Uh, new ammo companies popped up. There was one called HPR Ammo. I think they're out of Arizona. Anyway, I ordered some of their ammo, and which I'll be honest, it's it's reloaded ammo. It's I mean it you know, it's not new stuff. They take other people's cases and they reload it, you know. But it's it's a company you know that does it. Um, their ammo don't look the best in the world. I mean it, it's the two hundred and thirty grain. Full metal jacket, you know, the ball ammo. It's just, you know, the the uh, bullets have got little dents and dings all in them. And, uh, anyway, uh, I've never shot it before. And so I got it out today. I had a box of Remington, brand new Remington, uh, 230 grain. Shot like three magazines out of it. Nary a hiccup, put the HPR in it. Got about three shots in it and it hung up. Uh, took the HPR out of it, started shooting Remington again, not a, nary a hang up. So, I think it's just that HPR ammo, you know, I, a lot of people on the internet, you know, before I bought it, everybody was giving it good reviews, said it shot good and was accurate and all this. In most guns, probably my Smith & Wesson, you know, a gun that's not so finicky, it probably would eat it. Uh, you know, but Kimbers can be finicky. And, uh, so, I think that's all it was, so. Uh, I, like I said, I shot more Remington through it and never had a problem, so tore it apart and cleaned it. Uh, took my coat apart and cleaned it because I shot it the other night. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm I'm disappointed in the machine work and everything on my coat. Uh, I mean, it's been the gun's been shooting good and doing everything good, but the machine work on the inside of it, you know, on the outside of the gun's beautiful, but on the inside of the gun, I figured coat could do better. Uh, a matter of fact, I put anti-seize on it, on the rails, because the rails were so rough. I put anti-seize on it. I'm going to take it out and shoot it tomorrow. I'm going to try to run maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 rounds through it. And let that anti-seize, it's a gun, copper-based anti-seize. It's not anti-seize like you put on a car, thread bolt, thread bolt or something. I mean, it's similar, but it's the same stuff that Glocks come with. I'll say that. It's, just, it's the stuff that Glock puts on their rails. Anyway, I put that on, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to hopefully that anti-seize will kind of, uh, fit everything to itself, you know, machine everything in. But anyway, guys, I, I didn't want to take this long telling you guys this stupid stuff. You know, I'm just going to tell you what i kind of done today. Uh, still, I'm going to try to get you a vid made in the next day or two, guys. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do. If I can find a good car at work, you know, something interesting, something that's got some diagnosis to it, I'll do that. Uh, I may if I shoot my coat tomorrow evening, I may film that. Who knows? I need to test some uh, AR-15 loads that I've made up. I may film that. So, just be looking for that. Let's see what else, guys. I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, like I said, not much really going on. Uh, as you can tell. I love eating eating almonds, pecans, any kind of, you know, uh, peanuts, any kind of nuts. And, uh, but where my teeth are so bad now, and I've got so many, you know, broke teeth and gaps and holes in them back in the back. They get everywhere. It feels my, you know, it, it takes me an hour to clean them out after I eat them. But uh, what I was just going to say, guys, normal stuff, pray for me, pray for my business. You know, I, I I am. I'm just always a little apprehensive going into a new week, even though I know the Lord's going to take care of us. You know, I never know how this week's going to be. Uh, this last week, I mean, to be honest, money-wise, it wasn't a good week at all. We still come out all right. I got to draw a payday. And we come out decent. Not where I like to be, but good enough. Uh, it's actually the worst week we've had in probably seven or eight weeks. Uh, so, I don't know what's going on. I hope this week's better. But just pray for us, guys. Pray for my church. Pray for my family. The church is going through some financial problems right now. Uh, you know, we just don't have enough money to pay the bills. So, we're depending on the Lord to help us. So, so uh, pray about that. But anyway, guys, 
We're gonna start. We're gonna go tonight to just something that the Lord's put on me. It kind of goes with what I what I read last night. Uh, and we're going to Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse thirty. I think that just the Lord's want me to just kind of say some things about their sovereignty and and just some things about Him here that He's wanting to that He's putting on my heart to say. So here we go, guys. Deuteronomy thirty-two, verse thirty. How should one chase a thousand and put, excuse me, and two put ten thousand to flight, except the rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up? For the rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. It is this, excuse me, is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Now I'm starting to get into the where I, what I was wanting to get to, guys. For the Lord shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise up and help you, and be your protection. This is really where I'm wanting to go, guys. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to mine enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenge upon the enemy. We're going to read one more, guys. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. Guys, this is one of these things I like to read to people when they talk about, you know, people that really don't know God. And they try to make him end up, uh, uh, I don't know, what would you call him? A uh, pacifist? You know, they kind of they act like, you know, God is all love and God just, you know, lovey dovey, mushy gushy, which God is. God's got the greatest love that, that there can be. God is a source of love. God is also the source of everything. God is the source, you know, and he is going to take his vengeance and he is going to judge and he's going to do these things that he says right here in the Bible he's going to do. What do you think Japan is right now? You know, that's God's vengeance on a, on a, on a wicked world, on a wicked nation, you know. Probably the only culture and the only country or one of the only countries in the world that the people are greedier and more money hungry and more consumed by commercialism and just buy, 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 me, 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 make money, make money, don't care about nothing but making money. The only country probably in the world that is worse than the United States with that is Japan. Now, you know, you can take that with a grain of salt, but uh, anyway, you know, I'm just saying, God controls all this. God kills and he makes alive. God creates light. God creates darkness. You know, I read that last night in uh, in Isaiah. You know, God is the source of all these things. God is equal. God is righteous. God is holy. You know, just remember that, guys. You know, we need to be praying. We need to be repenting. Anyway, guys, I'm glad you all were here tonight. Uh, this video took way longer than I wanted it to, but I'm not going to do a retake because uh, ever since Brother uh, brother Rick, Dead for Jesus, told me 
uh, that I might be stifling the Holy Spirit, so I quit doing that. So, you just got to live with this long video, guys. That's one reason that my videos have got longer here, like if y'all have noticed. I always got bad for making long videos, but before I would go back and redo them and redo them and redo them until I got them short enough. Well, like, a, you know, since Brother Rick convicted me of that, well, the Holy Spirit convicted me. He mentioned it. I said, he's right, so I'm not going to cut them anymore. That's why they're long now. Anyway, guys, I love you all. If you need anything, let me know. Be looking for some vids. I'm going to try to answer comments tonight. I should be able to get to them, but if I don't, I'm going to answer them by tomorrow. Uh, if you need anything, let me know. Good Lord willing, I'll be here tomorrow night. So, uh, till I see you guys again, good night and God bless.